Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm doing a quick update on the state of recovery of my most of my persimmon plants. If you've seen the two short videos, you'll know that two have died completely. I lost my Zookis and I've lost my Tam Cam. They've died back to the rootstock, but if um, if the rootstock survives, I may eventually be able to graft some varieties onto them. Now if you if you follow my videos you'll be aware that we had a freak cold spell in April which killed <coughs> all of the new growth on pretty much every one of my persimmon plants now unfortunately persimmons fruit on the first flush of new growth of the year and in a year when you get a cold frost that kills that first growth it means that you lose all of your flowers as you can see these are all these are all recovering strongly now and are putting out strong uh, growth again but these are secondary shoots these are these are the ones that have come out of the result of the first ones dying um, and it means that there are no flower buds on any of these persimmons at the front at all. Now it's quite likely they've all got to a size and maturity of shoots. It's quite likely that I would have had a number, quite a number of flowers on some of these plants this year. I mean, for example, this is my uh, small fuyu. This had its first fruit on last year and it had lots of um, nice fat growth buds on it which is normally a sign that they have like a triple bud that which is normally a sign they're going to produce flowers and unfortunately every single shoot was killed off and although it's may sending up lots of strong new growth now thankfully um, none of it's flowering of course so it's very unfortunate now the only exceptions are you won't be able to see from here but <coughs> at the back I've got um, a gyro or gyro, gyro or gyro however it's pronounced. Now that, and to the right at the back there's a chocolatino, those two persimmons for whatever reason were about two or three weeks late leafing out compared to the other plants. And because of that they missed the cold spell and didn't take any damage on the new shoots because they were still in buds that hadn't broken. Now both my gyro um, which has probably got about a dozen flowers on it, or flower buds on it opening, and the chocolatino that has literally got dozens and dozens, you can't see them from here, but at the back my chocolatino has got dozens of flower buds on. Now most of them are male, but it actually has got a couple of branches that have got female flowers on, which is kind of the weird habit that chocolatino has. So if if any flowers set, I could get a few persimmons on two of my plants, but obviously I'll keep people updated who are interested throughout the um, throughout the summer. But I am relieved that I have got recovery on most of my other persimmon plants, barring the two I lost. But unfortunately, it does mean no flowers this year and no fruits to try. There is damage on some of the larger ones at the back there. I haven't pruned off the growth yet because I was waiting to see if it recovered. Um, I think that's my Rojo Brillant. That took a really bad hit, but it hopefully it's going to make a full recovery. But most of the others have come back really, really strongly. But even the Lotus, which had loads of tiny little fruits on last year, um, lost every single shoot on it. And although lots of new growth has come out, there's nothing with uh, flowers on it. But say lovey but I thought I'd show you anyway for anyone that's interested to see how the persimmons were recovering um, should be fine by the end of the summer maybe next year we'll see some flowers and fruits if we don't have any uh, disasters with late cold snaps again anyway thanks everybody who's watched this short video on my persimmons to see how they're doing I um, appreciate you watching as usual please remember to give me a uh, thumbs up you can share it with anyone you think might be interested in these plants. Please um, do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, if you're at all interested. And um, click the bell if you'd like to get further updates on my persimmons and other plants during the course of the summer. Then you'll get notified as the videos get uh, released. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.